guest is Jerry Brown with an art demonstration. Jerry is a Diné artist and graduate of the Institute of American Indian Arts. Jerry is pulled to create abstract pieces with many physical layers using mediums such as modeling paste. He says a piece is done when he can walk away and not feel pulled to add more layers. You can leave your questions for Jerry in the Facebook comments below. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Jerry Brown. Hello everybody, my name is Jerry Brown and I'm from Mariana Lake. My clans are Edgewater and uh, Deer Spring. So, and my channel are uh, uh, Black Streaking and Eternal is uh, Shock People. So, and that's how I am a man. So, I first of all, I would uh, do an intro because I I'd like to hear the. Um, sound so that's what I'm gonna do so I I do this and get loosened up so you'll see later oh um, okay like this and there's some I really like to hear that and we'll set this aside because I <clears throat> we'll get back to it. So, okay, this is a two by three feet uh, stretch canvas. And I put, uh, I started with the modeling piece already. So, I'm just going to open the jar. So, now it's already dry, so we can see the texture. So. <clears throat> and now we're going to use what uh, orange. Always use a, a cheap uh, paintbrush. I've always come with a, a big fan of it, so dry canvas. I'll put it back into the piece and wipe it. A little recovery here. <clears throat> Stop and do the first layer. So what we do is just covered everything with the primary color. So and this is the other one. And I left when I gesso today. I left my my gesso brush on, and I just let it. Well, probably let it live in there. So, seems.
Oh, these are acrylic, uh, and these are oil pastels. We have another question. Yes. Why all the layers? <laughs> the layers. Well, I could just uh, let it dry and put my name on it. So, <laughs> no, I, um, if I put layers on it and the texture by itself or what image, well, like this, and it, between this and this, um, 
these will start to come out, maybe uh, four or five layers. So and then you'll start to see some stuff and you, what I usually do is pull them out. So that's what will happen with this. So, and this is, will take its own little story. So, I mean, I uh, approach it any way I can, either, you know, like a, a flat or like a, a low relief texture on it. So yeah, it depends where I'm at. And it's, well, it will tell its own story. So yes, thank you for watching. Sorry, I have another one. Yes. Um, someone asks if you listen to any music while you paint. I'm so uh, uh, I, I, I already did the intro with that when I, uh, remember that, that is, that is music to me, so yeah. Yeah, so. So, with the oil past that, what I, I did that now, and, some patterns in it, so it would help me later. Just pull them out. So, yeah, I'm. We'll set this aside to let it dry, and um, <clears throat> yeah, and we'll get back to it. So, let's uh, keep going. Let this dry here. So wet. And then, uh, same thing. We'll just pull these out. And these are shapes so, or patterns, you know, this right here, it's its own pattern here, here. Ooh, this is all negative and then we'll turn it into a positive. So that's what we'll do. Um, maybe this, let's work on this shape right here. So. This is that you still see the first uh, or the the drawings in the back it's starting to come out. So if you water it down, so there you can still see the lines in the back. So. Let's see. Let's work on this pattern here. Oh, maybe this is something. Okay. When I do this, I always think back of the like how they communicate and like like you like charcoals like in the caves you know, or pigments they do images on rock they carve it out a little bit and up to the stages they record it and they did a lot of documentaries on it and same thing here. I always like a, like a, you know, stick the you know, and then you give them a leg and an arm, and then you know that that is a person, and you know, yeah. So expression there. So that's how I think about it in my minds. So. And when I work on stuff, make sure they're balanced. So one of this will drop a weird message and maybe a mark or something. So so that way it's not one sided, so it's balanced.
So by doing that, your eyes is already wandering. So. Have another question. Yes. Um, <laughs> good question. <clears throat> when I, uh, from third to eighth, I was at a boarding school in Crown Point. Uh, you know, they'll give you something or they'll do, they'll, they'll make or bring you out in the gym. And then you said, look at this, you know, that's a mural of a, a warrior. Now, can you go? find a place and draw it. So, um, I mean, you, you, well, when you're a kid, you pick up a rock and make sound, you know, you, you know, you, you imitate, you know, a car or airplane, or something or a bird, you know, it's, so, uh, I went in and an art school with that, you know, like, you know, you know, drawing and then draw a horse, you know, um, st um, in between there, it it didn't click in. I mean, they pushed it, but then it, it didn't. Thirty eighth was more like, oh, like we can go to sports, you know, like you know, play with them and see who win, who lose, and all that stuff. So never. And then uh, ninth grade was shady, so. And St. Bonaventure, you keep hearing the story, but it is, it is important to this. So, um, so 9th, 10th, and 11th, I, we have um, teachers that come in and teach um, and freshmen, fresh out of college, or there are people that want to go to the, the Southwest and teach <clears throat> what's out here. So. So St. Bonaventure, Bonaventure was a place for me. So, and I came across a teacher from Vermont, and and his name was uh, Clarence Casey. His paintings was abstract. So he did a lot of in, in intros, you know, like pastels, like what I'm doing right now, <clears throat> uh, cutting up paper, make collages, um, you know, just. Uh, sculptures with paper, uh, making murals, uh, graphic arts, and just, you know, all that stuff. And, and he didn't know that, I didn't know that he was going to write up and make a portfolio for me and then drag me to Institute of American and Art. So, so he did, and I got accepted. And with what I had at the threshold, and then <laughs> this is the the tricky part for me because I faced this. Um, I said, leave your baggage at the door. Whatever you came with, leave it at the door. Now you're going to learn this. Like, what do you mean learn this? Okay. So, and then they pushed. 
pushed, pushed, pushed. I mean, like figure drawings, uh, one and two drawings, uh, one and two painting and, and intro, you know, paintbrush, different sizes, how they, no, they, they just give you a list and say, here, now it is your, your turn to uh, make some supplies yourself. So what I didn't paint on this, uh, I didn't have this. Um, I borrowed stuff. Um, I hopped in the dumpster to make my own supplies. So that's, I, it, 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 that clicked real, real quick for me. And <clears throat> what they said to me when I came in the door, that stuck with me. So they pushed, they pushed, 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 pushed. Like one of my uh, instructor just, you know, had a few jars on the table and he talked about other artists and all that stuff. And I was like, you know, this is, you know, this, what is this like hair gel or, you know, like what do you put on the doors or what, you know? And then <laughs> the trick about this is the labels, read the label. And I was like, oh. it, it creates, um, flexibility and, and you know you can go over stuff by distilled you can still see through it and by dumping or dive in the dumpster you talk paper and I, I started to experiment with that you know like I said I didn't have this I made myself you know whatever I could find so so I did that <clears throat> And uh, in that time, they did a lot of protest. <laughs> that was new to me. It, it, it made me like this because, you know, coming from a, um, a Navajo reservation and then going into an art school to where your interaction is broad than anybody else, then you like you're dealing with, you know, Alaskans, you're dealing with Asian and, and all the natives and you put them together and then it's like poof, like a lot of art internet interaction going right there and just you know telling stories um protest <laughs> that was <laughs> that was a an eye opener for me up to this day we still live in that bubble and we wanted to you know break that and all that stuff so and so i chose to, in the midst of all of this within the art school that um, I want to do this. This this is what I like, you know. You wake up to this and you you you, you just like you know, like tying your shoes, you know, combing your hair, you know. Do it's it's who you are. It you're born with it. I mean, they could teach you and all that to how you can um uh I, I, I like form it to, to its yours. So this is me. So why abstract? That's the way I think. Uh, that's the way I see things, and they they they, they make me see stuff. So that's that's why I do this. Oh, another thing important part of that is that um, I don't want to sell my art. I, you know, there are a lot of artists. I'm surrounded. This is the Southwest. Great artists. I'm not. Um, I'm not bashing you or anything like that. This is me through my eyes. Um, I don't want to sell my tradition. You know, my you know, feathers, native on a horse. You know, I would like to do this. We're in the. The background of mine is that 1940s and 30s, the, uh, the medicine men, and they were round up here to do sand paintings. So they already did that for me. They already expressed it. Went on the railroad in Chicago and New York. They already did that. They made a road for me. And, and so I figure out how to support myself. So. I mean, this is hard, but look where I'm at now. So um, 
I pushed, pushed, pushed. Up to this day, I still push, you know. Um, there's no passion in this. This isn't, like I said, through my eyes. So, and that's why I do abstract. I don't, it's, it's something, it's, it's deep. It's this, it, you know, you pull that out and you can still see the first and the second and third layer here. But you pull the, the pattern or, the, you know, what, what is this? You know? I still don't know what this is, but I dream of it. I see it. And I see stuff like that. So it, like all the chaos going on, but still subtle. So um, like this, like this, you know, like I said, you know, when they made it lined, that's powerful. Like in the caves, that's how they communicated. And up to this day, we still do that with sculpture, with textiles, with, with uh, jewelry, with uh, painting, with mm, jewelry. So, and we still do that with words, with stories, with songs. It just goes on and on and on. And this is my way of communicating. So, thank you for watching. So. Here's another question. Someone okay. is asking about your favorite tools to work with. Oh, you have color? Um, <laughs> there is no favorite color because, uh, you know, mm, I, I, all here is I like to work with. I like to work with this. I like to work with this. This. Um, paper, man made paper. You know, you tear it off. You scrunch it or you know, wet it down, and this, you know, it, it'll live there. I mean, flatten out, like I said, put the gloss medium on it, and you still see the first layer. You can see it right here happening here. So, and then your your gloss medium, and then go over another layer. You still, I mean, it's just it's just amazing. Like I said. Read the labels, <laughs> and he will just take off. Yeah, that's how, yeah, just all this came about. So, yes. So, I mean, everything. I don't pick, you know, I, just, I can't say this is my, no, I can't. It's like, yeah. So, yeah, just whatever comes to, I just put it in there. Yeah, thank you. about making layers you can oh, paint it over all white and start all over again so, so. <laughs> See all the stuff on there or in there? That's oh, there we go. <laughs>
with the first layer, so we'll let that dry. Set it off to the side. Be the first layer, so first painting. Yes. I know you've made art for um, a lot of people who produce your art, particularly yeah. I know government and people who talk about it. Do you ever make artwork in collaboration with the people who purchase things or with people who are looking for some art? Yes, that's a, I sometimes hear their story. I like to hear their story and then just they give me this color, this color, and then my room this is my my house and all that, and then go in and then what they uh, showed me, put it back on the surface. That's just uh, rewarding for me. And then I will turn around or send it to them. And then it's like, there you go. So, yeah. Do you know it's finished? Uh, I, I don't. I just stepped back and I said, oh, now I pulled a lot of stuff in it and I just put my name on it. But the thing about that is that either one year or two years, if I still have it, we'll go back and work on it again. So it's, a, it's an ongoing process. So yeah, I've uh, done work that I have or in the 2000s and I still have it and then it's like, oh, time for another layer so and then they find homes or leave that in the 2000s yeah, they, they find homes um they're just random people that like just random stuff so it's a blessing it's a rewarding so and I always thank them to the, I look at them and you know they, they need homes now so
So we'll let that dry. And so get up on the easel. Okay, we'll go back in with the oil pastels. Did you paint a lot last year during the stay-at-home orders? Uh, I did some car repairs. Uh, horses showed up, so I called it uh, quarantine horses. So <laughs> they kept me busy, uh, wood hauling, you know, the wood business. I always got to make some money somehow, so <laughs> got to go in the wood. <clears throat> yeah, I... I did smaller works, yeah. Yeah. I gained some. Would you say you paint every day? Uh, part. That's how I would put it. Because it's a store in my mind. Oh, uh, how it'll come out. So, yeah. Usually, the um, um, train of thoughts will give me time. The door's open, now go, you know, make some art. So, yeah. Just yes. Enjoy life. <laughs> Do other stuff. <laughs> right, I want to fix that. I want to fix that. On and on and on. No, I want to enjoy the wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to make some more money. <laughs> Especially when the chapter houses open up, you know, you open the door and say, hey, yeah, open to everybody. Ding, <laughs> ching, ching. <laughs> so, having all those trips and you know, doing stuff, you know, I, you know, take, store it in there. And I think that just all comes out. And here, it's hard to explain. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a face in here, you know, there's the, you know, I, I can't say that, so, yeah, it's just what you see here, yeah, then if I, another thing about that is that the old list is the background, what's going on, and, uh, what are you smoking, you know, but no, um, subject matter would be wildlife, so I pick a wildlife and stick it in there and bring it out, so, Tips, it's some another story. Mm. It's just an ongoing process in the head. Do you know what people look like when you start? No, I don't. <laughs> I I don't. That's the fun part about when I do stuff like this. You know, just just on and on and on and on. It's just like, wow, we really want to stop. This is a good piece. And it's like, no, just keep going. So, yeah, I mean, there was, they looked at it, step back and look at, oh, I want to stop. Keep going. So, uh, or sometimes at a show or somewhere, um, I bring in the kids so they'll do theirs for me. So that's fun to watch because 
I mean, the first and the second layer that is goes on, but the, the laugh and the, the connection that they're, they're all at work. You know, there's a boom, you know, the door open and they're just following, following it. So that's what I like to see. So same with my process. It's on and on and on now. Like I said, you know, if everything like you know, if I don't stop, this will all become just muddy brown. And I can stop, step away. I've done that to pieces, and now they're in, in business and in, in, in Gallup. So eh, thank you, Gallup, so for supporting me. So yeah, for that. Um, yeah, and turn into muddy, and then try to scrape it up in and, and then go back in did another another day another layer <laughs> it's just it's just right there don't need to do a lot just bring it out it's a like, cool you know and just yeah I like to have fun with colors so. though That'd be another uh, third layer. A lot of my colleagues, they make fun of me. Say, ah, Mr. Brown is making a big mess in that corner. So I kind of like it. So that kind of hypes, hypes me up. So makes me want to keep going and make my art. So, yeah, like I like to hear that. No negative neg negativity in there. So it's just, yeah. <laughs> or like when I'm traveling or, you know, something hits and I put a rip in it, I, I don't lose it. I just, you know, put it, patch it back up. You know, I have modeling paste on just like, you know, hide the rip. Or, make something come out of there, you know, and make it a high relief or 3D, you know, there are lots of ways, you know, I could you know, come with a knife and put a rip on it and then with all this and just cut them up and then, you know, laminate it or fuse it back into my piece, you know, that's just, you know, it just goes on. Um, <laughs> one of my instructors said, you are the creator of this so i went in at one time with stuff and uh, like i said the rips and all that but the thing about this is that you have that determination that you can destroy your own work so i did that and he was speechless i said no i don't need to teach you anything anymore because i burned it so so that was it you know, like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, that's the bottom line, right? So I did that. So you have that determination to where you can create and then there's no endless. That's what I'm trying to say. There's no, there's no right way or wrong way to do with this. So you know, to me, that's how I look at this stuff. So like a, like a rip and a you know, if it's too thin or too thick, you know, too thick, it isn't, it'll just bounce off whatever it is. But if it's too thin of a canvas or, uh, yeah, if it rips, don't, you know, set it off to the side or make something out of it. So, yeah. And the, like texture. So, so let's go in with a modeling paste. The good stuff. Out. Make big clumps on it, and then when it dries, you know, put a color you know, on it and make it you know, fool with the, the second person or the third person that you used a lot of paint, but it's modeling piece at the bottom, so you know, like that. Oh, 
I always think, you know, I think how they communicated back again to the KP. So, yeah. You would witness great pain. And carvings and, you know, just lots of ways to come across this. Now we're going to let that dry. This was four and three now layers. So I'm going to go work on this a little bit more and let this dry. So we'll go in with. Uh, And made paper, so it's uh, a knife and matte gel. Out of the jar, so we use this as our paste. Kind of why do you know this will dry or clear? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did Bob Ross say? <laughs> happy, happy. So. I'm going to let that dry. <laughs> Any more questions out there? I, the only question I have is do you stretch your own canvas? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's a two by four and cut it in half. So it's two by two and put a half around. So there's a lip on it. So you can see the edge of the two by two. And then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess just to kind of wrap up, um, is there any advice you'd give someone who's looking to find new ways to express themselves through art or creatively? Uh, come on by. <laughs> we'll, we'll paint, draw paint, or you know, collage. There's endless, endless supplies. 
So, yeah. And thank you for watching, everybody. And thank you, Gallup. Thank you to our guest, Jerry Brown, for sharing his contemporary painting process. The Octavia Flynn Public Library here in Gallup, New Mexico, invites you to join us for live and recorded sessions daily during the month of May. You can find a schedule of events on our website at ofpl.online. Please make sure to follow us on Facebook, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all library events and programming. On behalf of the Octavia Flynn Public Library, thank you for watching.